Hi, my name is Ernest, and tonight I'm going to show you how to install some very nice orange seal ceramic bearings in the steering assembly of the Techno EB4818 scale buggy. These bearings were supplied graciously to us from the fine folks at Boca Bearings for the purpose of this video. To complete this video, we're going to need four SMR85C 20S number 7 NB2 bearings and four SMR106C 20S number 7 NB2 bearings. We'll also need a 2.5 millimeter driver, a 2 millimeter driver, some medium Loctite, and a small screwdriver. To get started, we're going to remove the top plate. Now I have pre-loosened all the screws for the purpose of time management of this video, so it's going to go pretty quick. This is an easy assembly. So to get started, we'll go ahead and remove the top plate. You have five screws holding down the top plate. Two in the front and three across the back. The two outer screws in the back corners go down into the metal steering posts. These screws, when you reassemble, you're going to want to use just a little bit of medium Loctite on them as in anything with RC, if it's metal on metal, you want to use a little bit of Loctite because if not, it will vibrate loose eventually. And if you have parts vibrating loose during a race, uh, just, that's a bad day. So we'll go ahead and move the five screws and then we'll lift the top plate off and we'll set it to the side. The next thing I'm going to go after is the steering link. I'm going to take the steering link off of the, off of the cam assembly and not the servo side so we don't have to recenter the servo when we're done. It'll all be right back the way it was and you won't even have to make any toe adjustments. So I'll pull the screw out of the steering link move the steering link off to the side and I'll thread that screw back down in there just a couple turns because there's a little nut in the bottom of there and we don't want it to fall out. Okay, next thing we'll do is we'll take the outer tie rand ends off of the hubs. Now, at the bottom of the tie rod ends we got a little four millimeter nut. So we're going to take that nut and we're going to lift, gently lift the tie rod end out and there's shims on your tie rod to set your bump steer. So rather than let those shims fall out of there, we're just going to screw that nut back on there a couple of turns and that way when you go back together there's no guesswork of where those shims went. Then we'll spin it around and we'll get the other side as well. And same thing. Let's screw that out of there. Lift that all out together with the shims. And I'm dropping one. Now make sure you stay, keep your shims together. Screw that nut back on there. And we're good. So, get this back around here where you can see. Now we're ready we can lift the whole steering assembly off the posts. So we'll just work that up off the posts. And we have the steering assembly and we'll set it out to the side. Now, a couple of the bearings stayed on the posts, so we'll go ahead and take the old bearings off. And we'll set them aside. We'll go ahead and get this other one off the other side. So you want to make sure they don't stay there when you take them apart. There we go. Next thing we'll do is we'll take our small screwdriver and we'll just pop the top ones out. They should come right out pretty fairly easily. And the same thing with the other side. So now we'll take our two millimeter driver and we'll remove both of these screws right here and something I forgot, we're going to need an 8 millimeter wrench as well. Because the nuts on the bottom of this. And actually, that's not an 8. It looks like it might be a 7. I'm sorry. Crap. 
correction, it's a 7 millimeter. My bad. So we'll take a 7 millimeter wrench and we'll hold that nut. And you're going to want to put some medium Loctite on these when you go back together as well. So we'll take these out. Now what you can do so you don't get confused on reassembly is just take this and lay it to the side. And what we'll do is we'll do one of the one at a time, and that way we don't get confused on reassembly. So we'll push the collar out, the bottom. And we'll take our small screwdriver and gently work our bearings out. There's one. One goes in the top and one goes in the bottom. And there's your other one. So now we'll take two of the new Boca ceramics and we'll pop those in there. Fit nice and snug. We'll take our collar and go up from the bottom side. Put your collar back in. And we'll get our medium Loctite. Yeah, we'll take some medium Loctite, just a dab on the end of the screw. It does not require a lot. You don't want to goop this thing up too much with, with Loctite. Just a little bit of Loctite on there. Put it through the top of the Ackerman plate. Put your assembly on the bottom. And yeah, we'll screw that in there. Wrench, hold that in place. Get that nice and snug. And what we want to do is make sure it moves nice and freely. That feels good. Those bearings, these Boca ceramics are so smooth. Very nice. All right. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Seven millimeter wrench on the nut. Two millimeter driver. Loosen that up. Screw out. that to the side. Pull your collar out the bottom. Your screwdriver. Carefully work your bearings back and forth. Pop the bearings out. Come right out. Anyway, you're in here, it's a good time to clean everything up. You got some dirt and track mess that you can't normally get to because these are in a kind of a tight spot. It's a good time to take a second just clean some of that mess out of there. And we'll install our two bearings. Put our collar up through the bottom. And again just a little drop of Loctite. Too much. Take a rag and wipe some of it off. And we'll lay this underneath here. Screw our screw back in. Your seven millimeter wrench. Hold that and give it a good snug. And again, I want to make sure everybody's nice and free. Nice and free and just virtually no play. I like that. 
Okay, so now we'll take our shaft bearings. We got four of those. And we'll place two in the top. You just pop right in there. Two in the bottom. And we'll take that assembly facing forward and we'll slide it down on the posts. And there you go. So your bearings are installed. All you have to do now is just reassemble it in reverse order you took it apart. Put your top plate back on, put your steering link back on, put your tie rod back, back together, make sure you keep your, your spacers where they're supposed to be. Reassemble it, put some Loctite on the two, on the two screws for the steering posts. Uh, again, anything metal to metal, you want a little bit of Loctite. And there you have it. Pretty easy, simple installation. So, that completes the EB48. There's two more videos out there showing you how to do the differentials and the hub bearings. Um, I hope I'm a little bit of help to you uh, assembling these vehicles and changing these bearings out. I've been running these Boca Ceramics now for a couple months and I gotta tell you, I, not one single bearing has failed and they're, you know, everything just seems freer and there's just absolutely no play. They're, machine is very tight tolerance so uh, they're good units are worth the investment uh, they're probably worth a tenth or two or three who knows how much on the track but they they definitely are a lot smoother than factory stock bearings so my name again is Ernest uh, I hope this video helped you guys out and I want to thank the fine folks at Boca Bearings for supplying these bearings and giving me the opportunity to make these videos for them I've had and enjoyed doing it and I guess I'll catch up with you guys next time. Catch you later.